finding out you have cancer can cause a great amount of stress. We want to tell you about a nonprofit organization called the Wellness Community that offers free services for patients through participation in professionally led support groups. People affected by cancer learn the vital skills that enable them to regain control and reduce the stress associated with the diagnosis. This month also, the wellness community is launching a nationwide initiative helping melanoma patients. This is Skin Cancer Month. Here to tell us more about this program is President and CEO of the wellness community, Kim Tiboldo. Welcome, Kim. Thank you for having me. Well, first, I'll be honest with you, I don't understand what your organization is. So why don't you well, tell I'm, us? I'm, I'm glad you're asking about it. Uh, the Wellness Community is an international nonprofit organization that provides free support services uh, to people with cancer. We serve people with all cancers uh, at any stage of disease. We also serve the loved ones and caregivers uh, of people with cancer. We provide services in over a hundred locations worldwide. We provide support groups, uh, educational programs, exercise, nutrition, and stress reduction for people with cancer. We have people at the wellness community who perhaps were diagnosed with cancer yesterday. We also have people at the wellness community who may die uh, tomorrow. There really is a continuum through the cancer experience, and we provide support and care to patients and caregivers throughout that continuum. So, so this is a physical space that somebody can go to, that can look up, and, and also I understand a virtual space, is that correct? That, that's right, that's right. We have, uh, yes, 100 locations. Uh, many of our locations are very much a home-like uh, setting, very warm feeling when you walk in the door. We have uh, uh, support group rooms with very comfortable furniture, a living room, a kitchen. We know how everybody likes to gather in the kitchen, so folks there gather in the kitchen to talk about their, their cancer experience. We realized a few years back that we were limited um, by the physical space in some ways. We could not reach and serve every single person with cancer. So that led us to build uh, and launch the virtual wellness community, which we actually launched on Good Morning America um, five years ago. We now have more than a quarter of a million people affected by cancer visiting the virtual wellness community every year where we're doing support groups online. There are educational materials. There's even a virtual kitchen and nutrition center where you can uh, download recipes and learn how to be empowered with cancer uh, through nutrition, through exercise, and other activities. Now, this, this is... Uh cancer skin cancer month and I didn't know it but skin cancer even though I'm a physician skin cancer affects more people than colon breast and prostate all combined what are you doing this month with specifically melanoma well, uh, yes, skin cancer is uh, it's a, it's, it's widespread, but the most serious form of skin cancer is melanoma. Now, it, it's, May is a great time to be talking about skin cancer as we go uh, into the summer months. The most important thing that we want people to think about, number one, is prevention. So to wear that sunscreen, uh, wear long clothes, stay in the shade, really don't be out in the sun for long exposed periods of time. Secondly, we want people to be aware of their bodies and of changes in their bodies. Uh, if you're seeing a suspicious mold, if you see uh, different marks on your skin that are changing shape, changing size, changing color, uh, go see your doctor, go see your primary care doctor, go see a dermatologist to get that checked out. Because what we know about skin cancer, and, and most cancers, frankly, Dr. Moritz, is that when cancer is caught early, we can manage it, we can treat it, in some cases even cure it. Now, melanoma is the most serious uh, form of cancer, uh, skin cancer. We know this year, for example, more than 62,000 people will be diagnosed with, can with melanoma. Again, we want patients to make sure they're being aware of their body because even with melanoma, if we catch the disease early, we can usually do surgery, maybe some treatment, and folks can be cured of the disease. Right. When and we I get in... Yeah, I'm sorry. Please. I think that's a, a really excellent point you made is it seems as a physician and, and probably the viewers out there should know that the cancer incident seems to be on the rise, but a lot of those cancers are very, very early, and what we're having is a whole group or a community, if you will, of cancer survivors, which when I was growing up and younger, the, the word cancer was a, was a death sentence, if you will. Have, have, we, right. seen you know, a, have we seen a, a renaissance now of cancer? 
we are seeing a change in the face of cancer. When our organization was founded, which was more than 25 years ago, you're right, we didn't even speak the word cancer. It was the, the big C, and it was thought to be a death sentence. Where we are today is we are seeing an increase in the incidence of cancer, and I think part of that is certainly due to our improved screening tools uh, around all types of cancer, mammography, colonoscopy. Uh, so we're seeing a, a heightened screening, so we're picking up cancers, but there's also general heightened awareness. Look, we all know someone who has died from cancer, but we also all know someone who's battling cancer now. We also all know someone who's beat cancer. And so we are seeing an increase in the incidence of cancer, but over the past few years, for the first time, we are seeing a decrease in mortality from cancer. So really that early detection uh, is key in terms of the long-term management of the disease and also really learning how to live well with cancer. That's what we do with the wellness community. Sometimes people don't get it. How can you live well? Well, with cancer. Well, people are learning right. to do that every single right. day. Well, Kim, we want to end on that positive note. I want to commend you on your organization. Thank you. And for more information, you can go to www.wellnesscommunity.org.